I'm Pietrus and I'm from Code for South Africa down in Cape Town. My name is uh, Evan Henshaw Plath and uh, I'm from an organization called NEO and we're a, a lean startup software development product consultancy. Right, and which part of the world? I live in Uruguay right now. Uh, my name is Anna Verde and I'm from uh, EPF Foundation from Poland. And I'm Marcel and I'm from this Fundación Ciudadana Inteligente. I'm CL from Taiwan. I'm Marcelo Eliseche from Paraguay. Great, and um, what organizations are you representing? I'm not quite representing, but we kind of from the GovZero.TW community. Mm -hmm. And I'm from TEDIC and NGO. Right. Did you know each other before this conference? No, <laughs> a day before, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a day before. My name is Maria Tale, and I come from Hungary, and I work for Atlatso, which is an NGO promoting transparency, freedom of information, and it was initially launched as an investigative journalism site. My organization is very involved in digital activism right. in Poland, so it's a natural place for, for us to be. Yeah. And for me, uh, our organization are trying to implement a PMO uh, site, and we are we now try to to implement the the Poplas project uh, mm. tools. Mm -hmm. with, uh, pop it, uh, build it, say it, write it. That's for not reinventing reinventing the wheel. I came because I think we need to figure out a better way to reuse software and build upon each other's platforms. Mm. In, in the broader free software community, we build upon and release libraries and collaborate well. Mm. And there's not the idea in the civic tech world of reusable components and building on platforms. Mm. So we've been doing kind of civic hacking stuff as well, and then got in touch with um, people well, in Mosasati and uh, um, just tell, told us that there's a chance to meet everyone here and then, then building the components together and then sharing our experiences so, so it's got very excited and, and yeah. I have some inspiration especially for, for new components and what is needed that, that was also interesting and a few funny stories of course from different countries uh, how transparency and accountability works in, in, in other places but Yes, especially um, Billet, a component they've been working on. Mm. Um, we have similar problems mm. and we need to solve them and we, we're trying to find ways of collaborating on that. Great. So we just had a very useful session on it. We had a huge, a long, really, really long session. Over there. Yeah, <laughs> everybody got to, to give their opinion. So it's not only what we thought and our solution, it's, it's kind of a bit more of a consensus. A truly collaborative. Yeah, yeah, and you can get to that much quicker. For me, it's just the meeting other people, just having this huge network of contacts okay. now and knowing different realities that I wasn't aware, I wasn't aware of until right now. Coming here was really great because I met the people who developed the tools that we are using and I also yeah. met other people who are using these tools so we mm. could exchange ex our experience. Lots of Twitter following, <laughs> lots of links. <laughs> and a uh, great discussion about some specifications and uh, potential use cases of components and uh, well, great time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same as him, but, but and a lot of friends.